Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato, and welcome back to the channel. Thank God it's Friday and I hope you guys are having a great day for today and y'all guys will have an awesome weekend. But with that being all out the way, we're going to just go ahead and talk about today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about on how to transfer files in live area with a new homebrew application called BGFTP. And this does work for modded PlayStation Vitas as well as modded PlayStation TVs. So one thing I do want to state before we get into the prerequisites and all of the nitty gritty um, towards the video, I'm just going to be listing some things that uh you know this may be useful to you or you know useful to the end user so one thing that i really do like about this new homebrew application for example let's say i wanted to transfer a file over quickly and let's say i can't find my cable for whatever reason i could utilize this program um via and, and transfer files via with the live area rather than using something like one menu or vita show not knocking off those two homebrew applications too i love one menu and i also love uh vita show but i feel like um this application is a really useful tool to me personally if i'm trying to transfer a file over quickly so it might not be for everyone but for those who want to you know still use the live area and you know maybe check something like uh, your trophy list or anything like that while you're transferring files over it's pretty useful in that manner just like you if you were on a dex ps3 but with that being getting all out the way we're just going to go ahead and start on today's prerequisites everything i will say will be in a link in the description down below but first things first you need a modded playstation vita that is already hacked in some shape or form um whether if you're using the uh, latest h on core 2 exploit h on core uh, the original hankaku 3.60 exploit or trinity for 3.70 as long as your vita can run on signed code you're basically good to go for this um this does work from firmware 3.60 to 3.73 firmware i'm currently testing this out on my playstation vita uh, 1000 that is on 3.60 enzo for today you also need vita shell you also need auto plugin um to get this set up because there is a plugin that is really recommended for this process you don't have to install it but um if you want the best um you know set up and you just want all your applications to you know run fine while transferring files via web ftp on live area it's really recommended to have low memory plugin xkprx and the easiest way on how to install that is with uh, the auto plugin application of course you need bgftp the actual application i'm talking about today and you either need files that have to be client um and that's what i would recommend for following today's video i know we deal with a lot of stuff with a usb charging cable but just to show that this process works and when y'all guys test it you can use any uh you know file transfer uh application excuse me on your pc but with that being all out the way i'm gonna go on the pc show you guys on how to get this set up and then um you know show how to transfer files in live area Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're basically good to go and get started on this process. So what I'm doing here is just opening up my PlayStation Vita. As of right now, your console should be exploited and as least, or excuse me, at least you should already have Vita Shell on your device. If you guys don't know how to install Vita Shell or you know need the VPK to it, I will have it in the link in the description down below. But what we need to do as of right now is just to go ahead and boot into Vita Shell. As well for this process, um, if you already have auto plugin, you don't need a reinstall it um it's just for people who's trying to do this uh, fully but i'll get that into um a little later as well so what we need to do as of right now is to make sure our wi-fi is on and you need to make sure that you're set to ftp since we're going to be dealing with transferring files over our wi-fi so if your thing is set up to usb all you would have to do is just hit uh, start on your to get up to settings where it says select button make sure it's just set to ftp and then once you have your settings to look like mine's where it says select button just go ahead and hit circle on your device and then what you need to do now is go ahead and hit select and then you should to see your PlayStation Vita's IP address. Once you have your PS Vita's IP address and maybe, you know, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Of course, if your Wi-Fi is not on, you wouldn't even get this, uh, you know, your IP address. What we're gonna do is go to the PC, get our original files transferred over, and then I'm gonna show you guys on how to basically um, get started along with the other side of things. 
Alrighty, so as of right now, you guys should be on the PC. What I'm gonna do before I teach you guys on how to transfer the actual files over, what I'm gonna do is showcase where I found the actual um, homebrew application. And I wanna give credit out to Graphene CT. If I did pronounce your name wrong, I do apologize. But this basically is just a gist of, you know, BGFTP. And I'll just read you kind of the description to it. So BGFTP is a background FTP server for the PlayStation Vita as well as the PSTV and it works simultaneously with any game including in large memory mode games and it also in sleep mode and it runs on system reserve core so performance and games is not affected BGFTP key or excuse me BGFTP can send various information to user via notification can be somewhat slow when CP hungry games uh, process is running due to BGFTP process having low priority so that's just giving a you know quick definition of the thing and then you can read you know the setup yourself if you want to go ahead and read that and if there's probably any more updates it'll probably be you know linked down below on this website as well if you guys are more interested on this actual page and article i will of course have that in the link in the description down below like i always have in all my other videos but all you got to do is just go ahead and open up the github I'll go here for a second. And then all you would need to do is just download bgftp.vbk. I'm not gonna re-download it since I already have it here. And as well, you need auto plugin.vbk. So doing a quick Google search, it's probably already here. So if I go into this website right here, I'll also have this in the link in the description down below. All you would need to do is download the latest version of auto plugin VPK, which is Final Cut uh, version 4.20. Just click, uh, I was about to say click X, <laughs> just, you know, download this to your PC and then have auto plugin that VPK. So once you have that, you're basically good to go. What I will do now is um, on my PC, you probably see my Vita screen, uh, you know, stationary. So what I'm going to do is open up File, uh, excuse me, FileZilla, and we're gonna get our files to transfer over. So you can use any FTP client of your choice. It really doesn't matter which one you use. You can use WinSCP. Let me just put this to the side real quick so you guys can see. So right now, let me just check with OBS if my thing is streaming correctly. Okay, yeah. So you can see my Vita on one on the other side of the screen. Let me cancel this out real quick. All you would have to do is just type in your Vita's IP address. So you can see mine is the same. Our ports will be the same, 1337, but our IPs, of course, will be different. All you gotta do is hit quick connect, and then just wait for all of your directories to basically pop up. Make sure you also have an unsafe homebrew or you might not see all your directories. So what we're gonna do is transfer over BGFTP as well with auto plugin at VBK, and we're gonna go and transfer this over to UX0. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite my stuff since I already had uh, these files here before. I'm not too sure if they're the updated versions, but all you gotta do is just transfer your files over to UX0. And once uh, all of my files successfully transferred over to the PlayStation Vita, what I'm gonna do is also verify them via what files on the FTP client. And then we're gonna go ahead and transfer our files over via with, uh, or just check via within Vita shell. So, I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. I may just cut the video since it may take too long, but I'll come back once this is fully finished. Alrighty, so all of my files successfully transferred over. If I go into successful transfer files, you can see that um, basically they transferred into the correct location, so UX0. So all we gotta do via on here now, you can see on my Vita, we're just going to check if our files transferred over and I'm going to do it at the same time on the FTP server right here. So I'm just going to go into UX0 or actually I got to open up the server back again. So yeah, I accidentally closed it out, but you can see that auto plugin that VBK and BGFTP is here. If I go back onto my PlayStation Vita itself, go into UX0, you can see that we have BGFTP and we also have auto plugin that VBK. So all we got to do now is go ahead and install both uh, applications. So just click X twice once you see this. And then, um, I'm just waiting for it to do its thing real quick. So once uh, autoplugin.vpk successfully installs, 
as well as bgftp.vpk. I'm gonna show you guys on how to install low memory plugin so we can get this all fully set up. And what I'm also gonna do is take this image right here and this is gonna be our test file just to see if our file is you know located or basically if any files can transfer via with live area. So this picture I have of myself or my commission art, we're gonna be testing with that. So I'm just gonna go and install bgftp.vpk as of right now. Just let it do its thing. And then once uh, both of these applications are done, I'll tell you guys the next step. All right, so both applications just finished now. All you gotta do is go back out from your Vita shell. Uh, let's just check if both applications are here. So you can see bgftp popping up on my live area. I will just move it here since it'll be easier for us to mess with later. But what we're gonna do now is go into auto plugin.vbk. You can see in the left hand corner that is version 4.20 Final Cut 9. So this is the latest version. Just go ahead and launch the application yourself. And let's go ahead and test this. So let's go into plugins for Vita, install plugins. We're gonna go scroll down all the way till we find the low memory mode plugin by Graphene CT, or CT, the same person who made um, this application, by the way. All you gotta do is go ahead and install it to whether directory, if you wanna install it to UX0 or UX0. Since I keep all of my plugins in UR0, I'm just gonna keep mine there. All you gotta do is hit X on your device. It will install the actual plugin and then what you want to do just to make sure your plugins are running correctly is to restart your vita so all you got to do is hit start with an auto plugin and then you'll get a system message that will state that your playstation vita will restart so what i'm going to do now is restart my vita showcase it back onto the screen and then i'm going to show you guys on how to um you know finish with this process Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita itself. My device already restarted. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and open up my Vita. What I'm also going to do now is open up um, Vita Shell just to make sure that our plugin has successfully installed. So just open up your application and we're gonna be checking if low memory um, plugin has installed. So if yours um, installed to UX0, just check there. But since all my plugins, as I stated, is in UR0 and the tie folder, that's where we're gonna check for me personally. So what we need to do now, if you you know follow the same steps as me, go into UR0, go into your tie folder, go into your config.txt. You see all your configs. You can see here on line 12, that low memory mode is here. And you can see when I highlighted this, that low memory mode SUPRX is here as well. So once you see that uh, your config.txt has the actual um, you know, file name uh, that is loaded up and basically the actual file itself or the actual plugin or the SUPRX, you're good to go. And then all we need to do as of right now is back out from here. We need to also go into BGFTP now, run the actual application itself. So. Here is BGFTP, so it says press X to start BGFTP process, and then it will stay here. BGFTP will be active until you peel off live area screen of this application or start in large memory mode games. To disable notifications for from BGFTP, go to settings, notification, BGFTP. So what you need to do now is just hit X, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. You should see a notification on your Vita and it will tell your IP address and actually your port. So if I go here for a second, you can see that my port is, um, or the IP has the notification here. And I'm gonna show you guys that it's working on the Vita side of things. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead back into uh, FileZilla real quick. Let me just go ahead and take this off the screen real quick, but let me go and just relaunch files a little so I can show you guys from the start. All right, so let me go and type in my IP address. Normally, if I would try to type in my IP address in live area, it would not connect, but you can see here that it's connecting just fine. And as of right now, what we're gonna do is go into UX0 and I'm just gonna transfer my picture over to here. And if you see on the screen, you can see that my Vita, not only that FileZilla picked up that I successfully transferred a file over, it also picked up um, my picture or it gave a little notification on my screen that says client one has been connected. So 
all I have to do is go into Vita shell itself just to see if my file has transferred over successfully and let's go ahead and I'll show you guys here um ux0 004 jpg you can see my commission art that I recently got of myself um, it's on my PlayStation Vita now and I did that via with live area now let's just test if a game could do it just so it could run um, we're gonna test I don't know we could do Call of Duty Black Ops since I don't have um, any other games on this Vita let me just go ahead and run that application as normal and just to verify you can see that the game is on uh, you can see that this game itself may be a high memory mode game but let's just see if we could transfer that file over because I didn't recall oh so as showcased here um, the file still successfully transferred over even with in game and if I went back out you can see that just one minute ago a new application uh, basically the file successfully transferred over as well and you did see on the files of the side I just recopied it over and you can see that the actual text or you know the file logs show that I did transfer my commission art twice so yeah that's essentially on how to set up BGFTP for your modded PlayStation Vita or your modded PS TV and you can transfer files in game as well as on live area if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like please be sure to comment and if you have any trouble setting this up uh, let me know in my comment section down below or you could join my discord if you need help but with that being said my name is nagato's revenge and i'll see you guys next time peace hey everyone it's me nagato's revenge here hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well is another method on how you will know when i drop my latest content whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace